In this video, we're looking at grading in Google Classroom. Check it out. Hi, I'm Kevin Zahner and you're watching Zahner History. And on this channel, we do a lot of videos about tips and tricks for integrating technology in the classroom. Here today, we have Google Classroom. Google Classroom is a wonderful platform for delivering material, ex expectations, communication with students, including receiving assignments, grading, and then turning those assignments back to them. Let's take a look at the different things you can do to provide feedback via Google Classroom. The first thing we're going to look at is grading a Google Classroom question. And it's found in classwork after they've been turned in. Now, if you click on one of the questions, it'll expand and you'll see that this one's a little different. Normally the question is up in the title, but I've actually put the question down here at the bottom because it went with a project that had other expectations. Now, 19 students have turned this one in so far. And so to access them, you just click on the number of the students who have done them. So in this case, this was a three, two, one reflection. And after reading the 321 uh, reflection, you can just write the feedback in the bottom um, when you're done with your, your feedback, which I hope would be uh, specific and actionable so that the student can do something about that feedback, maybe uh, correct their work, and resubmit for you know, a better grade. Because what's better than developing a culture of, of improvement, perpetual improvement, and what better incentive than improving their grade? I'd hope that they did work like that if I had a business uh, where they would fix their work when it wasn't right. So you can add the grade over next to the student's name, you can enter the score, and then that will be returned to the student after you click return. When you return, you can add one more comment to multiple students. So if you, if you have like five or six students checked off to return, this particular comment will go to all of them. The next type of classwork that we're going to look at is an actual assignment that they've turned in like a Google Doc or Slides, which opens up a particular window for grading that's really nice and new to Classroom. So if you've been using Classroom in the past, this is a lot of new stuff here. Now you can actually use this comment bank over on the right and copy the comments and then if you double click in an area and click comment, you can just paste it and you're ready to go. So it's a lot less typing. Now I also use a comment tool called Checkmark. So if you double click, it actually pulls up the Checkmark Chrome extension panel where you can add preloaded comments. You can also edit those comments if you need to by clicking the three vertical dots if you needed to add something or take it away. But usually I just keep preloaded comments and then maybe add a piece or two. It saves a lot of typing, especially if you find yourself saying the same thing over and over. I really wanted this years ago when it was all handwritten comments. If you do a, a quick like spelling issue, for example, you know, maybe check this spelling. It's really nifty for stuff like that. Long comments that you want maybe a, a certain point to stand out, you can do stylizing by adding an asterisk before and after the comment. It'll make it bold. There's also a hack for italicizing as well as strike through. It also allows you to type in the score and an additional comment to the, about the student's overall performance, for example. The middle allow you to click to the next student so you don't have to leave this particular window to grade several papers. And what's nice is over on the right in that sidebar, you're able to click between different documents. Now, if we found a student that had uh, several documents attached like this one right here, Maybe they have a slide presentation and a Google Doc. You can toggle between the Google Doc and the slide presentation. Open up entire document by clicking on the arrow over on the right hand side. And it'll open it up in a new window. Thanks for watching. If you got anything out of this video, please hit us up in the comments below. Any questions, anything that might have gone too fast for you, or something that we might have left out, please include that in the comments. And if there's a part of this video you wanted me to do a deeper dive on, let me know. I'll, I'll read the comments, I'll respond, I'll do as much as I can for you.